Are you ready to take your investing game to the next level? Today we're stepping into the world of dividend stocks. These aren't just any stocks. They're the ones that provide you with a regular income in addition to potential capital appreciation. It's an enticing prospect, isn't it? But mastering dividend stocks requires more than just a passing interest. It demands understanding key concepts, developing effective strategies, and making informed decisions. We'll be looking at crucial factors such as dividend yields and the company's dividend history. We'll delve into the importance of diversification and the power of reinvesting dividends. We'll also discuss the significance of staying informed and when to seek professional advice. The goal? To equip you with the knowledge and tools to select and manage your portfolio of dividend stocks effectively. So, buckle up and get ready for a deep dive into the world of dividends. In this video you will learn how to select and manage dividend stocks like a pro. First, focus on understanding dividend yields. Dividend yield is a financial ratio that shows how much a company pays out in dividends each year relative to its stock price. Simply put, it's the percentage of the stock price that you get back as dividends. Now why is this important? Well, it helps you compare the relative attractiveness of different dividend-paying stocks. Consider this. Company A and Company B both pay out annual dividends of $5 per share. However, Company A's stock price is $50 while Company B's is $100. This means that Company A has a dividend yield of 10%, while Company B's yield is only 5%. Clearly Company A provides a better yield. But here's the kicker. Look for sustainable and attractive yields. A company might have a high dividend yield one year and none the next. So, consistency is key. Remember, a healthy dividend yield is a good sign, but be cautious of yields that seem too good to be true. Next, evaluate the company's dividend history. A crucial aspect of mastering dividend stocks involves a keen understanding of a company's dividend history. This history provides insight into the company's financial stability and its commitment to rewarding shareholders. So, how do you go about this? Start by looking for companies with a long history of paying and increasing dividends. This suggests a business model that generates sufficient profits and cash flow, allowing the company to share its success with its investors. One group of stocks you might want to consider are the dividend aristocrats. These are companies that have increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. It's quite an elite club, and membership indicates a serious dedication to rewarding shareholders consistently. In essence, a solid dividend history can indicate a company's financial health, its commitment to shareholders, and its potential for future growth. Companies with a consistent dividend payment history are more likely to continue paying dividends in the future, Diversification and reinvestment are key. When navigating the world of dividend stocks, it's essential to remember the golden rule of investing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. This timeless advice is all about diversification. By spreading your investments across a variety of sectors and industries, you can create a safety net for your portfolio. Think of it as a seesaw. When one sector dips, another might rise, keeping your portfolio balanced and reducing the overall risk. But how do you achieve this balance? Start by researching different industries. Understand their growth potential, the challenges they face, and how they react to market changes. Once you've got a good grasp, spread your investments accordingly. A diversified portfolio could include technology stocks, healthcare shares, financial sector equities, and more. Remember, diversification isn't just about spreading risk, it's also about seizing opportunities from different sectors. Now let's talk about reinvestment. Reinvesting your dividends is like planting a seed from a fruit you've just eaten. That seed can grow into another fruit-bearing tree, and over time you'll have an entire orchard. In the context of dividend stocks, reinvesting means using your dividend earnings to buy more shares. As these shares generate their own dividends, your income can compound over time, leading to exponential growth. A popular method for reinvesting dividends is through a Dividend Reinvestment Plan, or DRIP. This plan automatically uses your dividends to purchase more shares of the company, often without any transaction fees. While it may seem like you're foregoing immediate income, remember that you're setting the stage for greater, compounded returns in the future. So, let's sum it up. Diversify your portfolio to spread risk and seize opportunities and reinvest your dividends for compounded growth. These two strategies can help you navigate the highs and lows of the market, providing both stability and growth. Don't put all your eggs in one basket and remember to reinvest your dividends. And that's the essence of mastering dividend stocks like a pro. Lastly, stay informed and consider seeking professional advice. 
Staying on top of the financial game requires more than just understanding the basics, it also requires keeping up with the ever-changing market trends and company news. In the world of dividend stocks, companies may adjust their dividend payouts due to factors such as profitability, cash flow changes, or economic conditions. Keeping an eye on these changes will not only keep you informed about your current investments but also provide you with potential investment opportunities. Remember, knowledge is power and in this case it could also mean more dividends in your pocket. Now let's talk about company news. You might be wondering, why should I care about what's happening with a company I've invested in? Well, company news can have a significant impact on the performance of your dividend stocks. For instance, if a company announces a merger or acquisition, it could affect its ability to pay dividends. Similarly, if a company is facing financial difficulties or legal issues, it might choose to cut or eliminate dividends. So, staying informed about company news helps you anticipate changes and make timely decisions, but what if you're new to investing or simply don't have the time to keep up with all this information? That's where professional advice comes in handy. Financial advisors can provide you with personalized advice based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. They can also help you understand complex financial concepts and strategies, making your journey to mastering dividend stocks a lot smoother. However, remember that while financial advisors can provide valuable insight, the final decision always lies with you. After all, it's your money that's on the line. So, make sure you're comfortable with the advice you're receiving and the decisions you're making. To sum up, staying informed about market trends and company news and considering professional advice when needed are key steps to mastering dividend stocks. As the financial landscape continues to evolve, these steps will help you adapt and thrive in the world of dividend investing. Staying informed will help you make informed decisions and adjust your portfolio as needed. To summarize, mastering dividend stocks involves understanding key concepts and implementing effective strategies. This includes evaluating dividend history, understanding yields, diversifying your portfolio, reinvesting dividends, and staying informed about your investments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on mastering dividend stocks like a pro.